I don't mind if you send me some. Yeah. As you know guys on this channel, sustainability matters and we embrace imperfect sustainability. So I'll leave you some tips on how you could be imperfectly sustainable. Please know that this is for educational purposes as well as informational purposes. When it comes to quality, the bags these days, they do not have the quality that one expects from luxury that's supposed to be really exclusive to the elites. Are the elites taste deteriorating? Are they no longer concerned about their money? Maybe they have too much disposable income. I need some. I have debts. Yeah, seriously. When it comes to quality, it's no longer there. It's not. And even Hermes is getting a beating on its quality. I recently went into Post Forum and I noticed that there was this thread on Hermes quality and many Hermes fanatics, no, I'm sorry, you're, you're not a fanatic. You are a Hermes fan. You are a Hermes lover. You love quality. And I could, I could, I, I could relate. I love quality stuff too. I love stuff that you could have for many years. I love stuff that you could consider um, your classics. Whatever your classic is. I love it. But Hermes is not immune to its fair share of quality issues. I was looking into Post Forum and it's reading, it's very sad. This is from September 26, 2018. It's very sad for me to realize that quality seems far-fetched in nowadays merchandise even Hermes can't escape this trend this is my first post here but i've been reading and researching in the past couple of months to find a trustworthy luxury brand and Hermes was the one that really stands out i originally wanted to go with chanel oh <laughs> good call so Essentially, she's saying she went to uh, Hawaii and bought a few things from Hermes. And within a week, uh, one of them was an etube, Lindy 30. So I thought it was worth it. I don't change bags often, so I can justify the cost. However, I felt a big slap on the face when only within one week, yes just got the bag and i saw the end of the left zipper came off and she left a picture of the of the zipper guys it's a bag anything from hermes it's a bag made by a man yeah, a man with flesh and blood, with veins, with, yeah, whatever differences he may have or she may have. It's, 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 it's a bag made by mankind. And yes, I understand that obsession. Yes, I did. I did a video on the Hermes Borkin syndrome yeah Stockholm syndrome yeah but if you think that was only in 2018 no no 
there is also more information on homes with respect to quality in 2024. So the question was posed, what has surprised you about homes? It's in 2024, February. And the very first answer at the top, for me, it's how the leather, be it the Aden, Box, or Clements, feels papery and powdery. H. Hermes is the only brand I've encountered that has this unique feel. I'm also surprised by the fact that, that the H. Bug, see the obsession? Yes, the Bok in Stockholm Syndrome that I mentioned earlier. He's surprised, or she is surprised, by the fact that the, the H. Bug is very real. Someone here warns me, someone in the Pulse Forum warned me in 2018 that my first bag wouldn't be my last. And five bags later, yeah, still buying bags. Anyone else surprised by anything, be it service, prices, other items? It's unbelievable that even today, you hear of people speaking of the ever can do no wrong homes that surprise how much corner wears matters for homes handbags. I don't know if my prior bags, which are non homes were curvier and I wasn't paying attention, but scuffing slash wear on the corners seems to stick out more when I look in the homes pre-love market. It's true. Well, from Jane Birkin, you could see that homes doesn't necessarily wear. It doesn't wear well. No. Why do you think so many people put band-aids on it? It's the same thing they are doing to the Vachetta on the Louis. But this is not Vachetta, thank God. This is um, treated leather. So I can wear this and toss it however I wish. Because it's, it's, it's just a bag. And I don't baby my bags. So it's just amazing. This bag, this is by Moro Govana. And it also has some of the same issues because it's made from Hermes leather. It has some of the corner wares that is being mentioned by the Hermes client. Yeah, it gets wares, but I don't mind it at all because I didn't, I didn't pay an arm and a leg and a few fingers for the bag. And I got the same quality. Ah, guys, this leather is i'll put the name up what leather it is but guys you see so many people today putting on band-aids onto their bag the handles to protect them honestly i'm not a fan and some of them look pretty by all means you do you but it looks like the bag has a boo-boo it does, yeah. If you have a little kid, he, he or she would tell you that. Mom, does your bag have a boo-boo? Why did you dress it up like that? Yeah. But anyway, you do you. Protect your bag. You paid a lot of money for it. It's an investment. It's an intergenerational piece. You do you. I love you guys. This for me is for me to try to set my people free and to help them to realize that they are just bags. Just bags. Nothing to idolize. Nothing to say you should have a huge collection of because you just want to stare at them because they're beautiful. Some of them are, but some of them are really ugly and 
and impractical and I've delved into that before on this channel. This is not hate. This is not jealousy. Oh, please. <laughs> no. Because even if Elon Musk or BA or who is the owner of Amazon or who is the owner of Microsoft? Yeah. Even if they send me some money today. If you guys are watching, can you send me some money, please? I need it. Because you seem to have extra. It seems like the richer folks are no longer demanding quality. They seem to have much money to spend on not so great quality items. Yeah. So with that said, I love this. And I would only buy vintage for any high-end bags. And you could say it's because I'm poor, I don't care, because there are some people that are very snobbish and they tend to be in that camp that thinks sustainability is the new poor, but it's okay. There's no shame in being where you are at a particular stage in your life, as long as you try to make yourself better and achieve your level of success because everyone's level of success, it's different. So you do you. I love vintage and I love the quality of vintage bags and I, I would never deviate from that because I hope that this video enlightens you. I hope that you have learned something if you love it, of course, like it and subscribe. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.